Hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss about error correction learning rule. Okay. So here, so uh, just you see the figure. So here. X1, X2, and so on to XM are the set of input units, and W1, W2, and so on to WM are the corresponding synaptic weights. And here uh, we will calculate the summation. So that is X1, W1 plus X2, W2 plus X3, W3 plus, and so on to XM, WM. So we will add bias also to the summation unit. Okay, and that summation unit. That is y n, y i n is given to the activation function. So if we give the summation input to the activation function, we will get the actual output. We will get the actual output. Okay, that is represented with y k of n. What is y k of n? Y k of n is nothing but the actual output what we got. Okay, so here. d k of n is nothing but it is the expected output whereas e k of n is the error function okay okay right so here e k of n is the error function d k of n is the expected output so here what we do is see here the main objective is here we have to minimize the cost our main goal is to minimize the to minimize the cost to minimize the cost the formula is delta k equal to half e e k of n square okay what is e k of n we have already seen just now e k of n is nothing but see e k of n is the error function so in order to reduce the cost see here delta k is directly proportional to e k of n so if you want to reduce the cost if you want to minimize the cost that is delta k if you want to minimize the cost we have to minimize the error function that's what the other is trying to explain so since uh, these two are directly proportional if we reduce the error function automatically the cost will be minimized so here the main intention is we have to reduce the error function e k of n should be reduced as much as possible thereby the cost will be minimized so uh, how to calculate e k of n the error function e k of n is the error function so the error function is calculated as by using the formula e k of n equal to d k of n minus y k of n what is d k of n d k of n is the expected output y k of n is the calculated output or actual output so the difference between expected output and observed output gives you the error function okay so that is how we calculate e k of n so if we get more uh, if the error function is more then what we have to do is we have to reduce the error function how to reduce the error function the error function is reduced by uh, changing the weights how to change the weights see change in weights is calculated by the formula delta w k j so delta w k j delta is nothing but change in weight it indicates change in weights delta w k j means change in weight is calculated is calculated by using the formula neta into e k of n into x y of n what is neta neta is the learning rate okay neta is the learning rate e k of n is the error function that we have been discussing right from uh, starting onwards e k of n is the error function so x y of n is the inputs set of input function so the change in weights the weights should be changed by keeping in mind of or by keeping in view of the error function how much error we got and based upon the input functions also okay the amount of weights we are going to change that is nothing but uh, that is nothing but learning rate means we have learned something so what amount of weight we have we are going to change what amount of weight we are going to increase or uh, decrease in order to reduce the error function so that uh, process or what we have learned that simply called as learning rate that is represented with neta okay see the new weights can be calculated as 
the new weights can be calculated as uh, w kg of new means new weight is calculated as old weight w kg of old means old weight plus or minus uh, change in weight so if you if you are if we want to change the weight what we are going to do is okay the new weight we will get the new weight from the old weight plus some amount of uh, some amount of weight we are going to change see wkj is purely depending upon the error function and set of input function okay so that formula we are going to use okay so once again please listen so the error correction the error correction learning rule it works as follows so we will have there are uh, there are some uh, there are set of inputs or input function like x1 x2 and so on to xn okay just just you watch the figure and these inputs are associated with corresponding synaptic weights like w1 w2 and so on to wn so by using uh, these two values means input values and corresponding synaptic weights by using these two we are uh, calculating the summation by using the formula sigma equal to x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 plus and so on to x xm wm so we'll get the summation unit okay and this uh, the obtained summation unit will be sent to the activation function okay activation function so thereby we will get we will get the yk of n so by processing we obtain the actual output or calculated output we can also call it as calculated output or actual output we get yk of n okay so we already have dk of n what is dk of n dk of n is nothing but it's the expected output okay it is the expected output okay now after uh, obtaining yk of n now we will calculate the difference between expected output and actual output that gives you the ek of n that is the error function okay uh, so if we get the ek of uh, n it means that we have some error function is there some error is there so here our our main aim is to reduce the cost so here for reducing the cost the formula is delta k equal to half ek of n square so in order to reduce the cost we have to reduce the error function see ek of n is nothing but it's the error function so here um, minimizing the cost will be done by minimizing the error function so we have to minimize the error function to reduce the error function we need to obtain the we need to update the weight means we need to change the weight uh, means either to reduce or increase to increase or decrease why because Uh, sometimes you know, in some situations we are supposed to uh, we are supposed to reduce the weights in order to reduce the error function in some cases we have to increase the weights in order to reduce the error function so change in weights can be calculated as delta wkj equal to neta into ek of n into xy of n where neta is the learning rate ek of n is the error function where xy of n is the input function okay so uh, so now this uh, change in weight is added to the old weights to obtain the or to update the new weight see this uh, change in weight is added to the old weight for getting the new weight okay so the above process is applied continuously or repeatedly until the error function is negligible or until it becomes zero okay so this is uh, what about the error correction learning rule is Okay thank you